is your biggest question mark remaining for the Cowboys? I was actually reading an article on Bleacher Report that led me to this question because, and I bet a lot of people are still here. They think the Cowboys' biggest question mark is still quarterback. So I am curious because it was just one game and when you juxtapose it with how bad that Commander's game was, I, I hadn't really thought about it like that, but I guess I get it. You, I, I'm in that category. I think Dak is okay. a good quarterback. I don't have him as a great quarterback. He played great on Monday night. If he plays like that, I'm on record. If he plays like that every game in the playoffs, I think the Cowboys can win it all. Yeah. Now, there could be something that still goes wrong and you don't win, but I do think, I don't want to give this away, but in power rankings, it'll be interesting where I have Dak, but I think Dak overall uh, is better than Brock Purdy. And it's just because I just don't know Brock Purdy yet, right? I mean, I could yeah. after this playoff run is over, I might have Brock Purdy as a top five quarterback in the NFL going into the next season. Because if he wins the Super Bowl, it's really tough yeah. to be like, hey, yeah, he's, not, yeah, yeah. he's still not good at quarterback. Um, that is my biggest question mark. Because if Dak, can Dak carry a team for three or four straight games in the playoffs against playoff teams? That's my biggest question mark. And if he does, you would like to think then that those questions would be quieted for good, especially if it came with a Super Bowl victory. It's really tough for me, Kevin, to juxtapose uh, right. the what? what we just saw versus the Washington game because I want to ask you the real question of, do you really think that that entire team was trying to win against Washington aside from Dak? Because I thought Dak was doing everything he could out there and running around behind an offensive line that was kind of halfway showed up. And that's too, like, the juxtaposition yeah. is too complete. Last game of the season that doesn't really matter unless you really were trying to win it to get position or whatever. Which and against playoff game against yeah. Tom Brady on Monday. Two magnificently different things. I think I'm, I'm starting to come over to your side because internally I'm like, well, yeah, they were trying to win that game. They knew they could still get the number one seed. Everyone said the same thing. But when you saw the commander's game versus the bucks game, and I like, I don't think, the, different. I don't think the bucks are a Everything good team, did. but the commanders aren't a good team either. And yeah. so it was shocking to see the differences. It just feels like against the big time opponent, Derek, that like, that's where they they really wanted the big time game as yeah. opposed to the meh game. Yeah, I, I for sure agree with that. I also think you, I'm pretty sure it was you guys talked about it was uh, it's not like they wanted to show their cards. You know, they didn't want to show their hand going into that. They already knew they're in the playoffs. Let's not do too much. If anything, it's more of Dak. Let's get your consistency going. Get a few runs here and there. Do you know the basic stuff? Just don't give anything away. And then you saw a totally different team when they showed up in Tampa. Yeah, the my question mark. And I know a lot of people are going to throw Maher in there. I'm going to I'm going to go out oh, on a yeah. limb and say I guarantee he doesn't miss an extra point for the rest of the run. Oh, uh, I'm going to just that's where I'm going to leave that. But we'll so you don't get think a, we're scoring any touchdowns. Hey, dude, dude, <laughs> I'm just kidding. The other thing, though, my my <laughs> I'm just kidding. my my question mark is the physicality of Trayvon Diggs. Is he making right. business decisions? And I don't know what he would be making those business decisions for, except for maybe the big business of the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. So here's my take. There were multiple times, and not just the Mike Evans moment when Mike Evans punked him, all right? That happened, Trayvon. We all saw it, and I get it. The phys I, Hey, hit him back. Bust him in the mouth. But the there was a moment when Curse got hurt. Or if you look, it looked like Diggs was holding his elbows in and saying, please don't run into me, anybody. Then I think the next play, another thing happened. That's when I texted y'all, and I was like, hey, are y'all seeing these business decisions? My hot take on this might be. I don't want him getting hurt right now. Anybody yeah. opposite of Diggs, we have question marks about. If Diggs was to get injured in some way trying to make a tackle, we don't have a cover corner that I trust like that. So as much as we're like, hey, all in, you got to be doing all these things too. I don't, I can't let him get hurt at the moment trying to make a tackle when maybe we need the other guys, our big-time tacklers, making those tackles. So you know that the Trayvon Diggs, I agree with you. I think he's phenomenal. But the the moments that I've noticed is if there's the beginning of a tackle or the onset of a tackle that doesn't directly involve him and he's in the neighborhood, he'll make the moves or lunges toward the tackling that's happening. 
and then determine quickly whether or not he needs to get involved. And if he, you see it where he like moves in position and then he's like, no, yeah, they probably got it. And he'll just back away as opposed to, I feel like Donovan Wilson just throws himself like a missile into yes. everything. And you I'm need not, that guy. You have to have a guy yeah, like that. And I'm not saying I want Trayvon Diggs to be doing that yeah. because I definitely do not. But I feel like maybe there's a happy medium somewhere there. Yeah, that, like um, who was Derek? Who was your y'all's crazy guy uh, on on your team that went that went to the World Series those years? Like, did y'all have one of those guys that you were like, I have no clue what that guy's gonna do, but uh, but it's gonna be fun to watch. Are you feel are you gonna say you? Is that that's fine? That's okay. No, I don't want to say me. Um, it's Padilla back in the day. <laughs> oh, Padilla. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> I really liked him. He was funny. Um, you don't know what you're gonna get. God, it's tough to say. I can't really pick. That's fine. Everybody was very consistent throughout okay. the playoffs. We were, we were hot. Like we were on our streak. Yeah, we that makes off. a lot of sense. Yeah. So it's hard to just say one certain that one dude guy. I mean, Nelson Cruz was the guy that really carried us. Baseball's different, but it was right before your time. They got rid of Milton Bradley. He was, okay, he I got you. Crazy. Yeah, I, I mean, he was my teammate too. That's how. I, that's what I want uh, from Donovan Wilson. Is I don't know. Were you on the team with Milton? No, I was around him, and I. Mm, Kind of a stat patter. Yeah. Take himself out of games. He was uh, crazy. I mean, he was he's, insane. Yeah. But Marlon Bird was pretty insane, too. I just want you want that one guy that, like, you you don't know exactly what it's going to be, but it's going to be full speed. And that's what Donovan Wilson is whenever he's on the field. Again, Kevin, he lights up Chris Godwin. Yeah. Chris Godwin... Uh, the physicality there that's like, hey, we're the we're the more physical team today. That's the Football's, presence. So I agree you with what, you. He took his position. Sam Williams can be a little bit crazy. You're yeah. afraid of a late hit, yeah. and you're yeah. afraid of a big play that could change the game in a positive way. You know, like Sam Williams can can be that guy. Is I, since you brought up Diggs, I think mine is generally for the defensive backfield because I feel like if the DBs play, I don't know, even eighty five percent of what they did Monday night, I think there's an excellent chance that you can win this game. I One of the stats, and we might dive into this for uh, more as the week goes along, that I saw is the split for Brock Purdy in this last game, where I thought he was top-notch. For receivers who had five yards or more of space separation, as opposed to when they didn't. When they didn't, and five yards of separation is a crazy amount of separation his numbers were not good when they didn't have those massive amounts of separation so I, I i know this could go a whole lot of different ways and people are like oh it's gonna be another amazing late round quarterback draft pick and everything and i understand why but i i hope that the dbs can play anywhere near as good as they did in terms of the tighter coverage and cause problems for purdy i think mike brought one up off air a little bit ago that i think is pretty interesting you know, look at what DK Metcalf did against San Francisco last week. Sure. By the way, Lenore on the other side of Traverius Ward like shut down Tyler Lockett. It was it was one of those kind of games, and there are lots of things that can describe why that was the case. But DK had like ten catches and a hundred and something yards. Like he was really good, and he had been shut down by Ward earlier in the season. So what was the difference? And some of it was they were able to get big explosive plays downfield. Who is the big explosive play downfield guy for the Cowboys? Is it Lamb? Lamb does all these different things and sometimes will slip wide open and you have a big play downfield. Is Gallup is that guy or is TY that guy? We've seen one, we've seen a couple of different attempts and the one that really sticks out was the big win for sure. But can TY be the guy that really lights people up downfield and can Dak find him? I think that's a big question mark for this team to kind of stretch what what San Francisco likes to do specifically. Well, let me ask you this. Do you feel, and me personally, I feel like the Cowboys have more weapons and a better quarterback than what the Seahawks have. That's yes. why I feel there's so much more hope for the, 40, or for the Cowboys over the 49ers because of Dak's a better quarterback than Geno. The weapons at the receiving core is better than what the, the Seahawks have. So I feel like the deep ball is going to play very well against the 49ers, and they're going to do such a good job of moving the ball around. I mean, you got two great running backs at the backfield, too. It's going to help open up so much more for Dak mm -hmm. as well. So I, I just, I'm calling it already that the Cowboys will win this game. I like it. I like what Derek's Whoa. saying here. Can we and, put it in three inch headlines? And to see, like, Kenneth, Kenneth Walker. Sounds <laughs> like we got a bet. <laughs> Kenneth Walker, oh, who uh, from the Seahawks, who he had a really, a really great run early in the game. 
He went to went to high school with my nephew. That was pretty cool to learn. Oh. Uh, while I was uh, at the in-laws this weekend, he had a really good game, and that was a strong effort there. And that, like we know what Seattle likes to do when they like to run the ball. The Cowboys have been not great at getting what they want accomplished, but we saw Tony Pollard get up big yards against Tampa Bay. Hopefully they can that they, they, Tony Pollard has those fresh legs to do that again against San Francisco because we're going to need it. I don't think Zeke is going to give you that option. I don't think I think Zeke's going to give you some physical couple yard runs that here and there. They can help, but man, we you Derek like you just said it. They have it. They desperately need it to show up on Sunday against San Francisco.